Now, Rachel, I love having you come on the show doing cool science stuff, you know? Because I feel just a little bit smarter every time you uh, teach us something. Yeah? It's like I'm like a real scientist, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know if you're a real scientist. No? I mean, you, you have learned a lot, but... But I'm up for a challenge. Let's, you want to prove yourself I, a scientist? Let's see if I'm a scientist. Okay, what you got, got my goggles on for this. Oh, boy. Do you think that you can make an egg I bounce? saw those eggs. I knew you were getting to them. Wait, well, what? I need you to make the egg bounce. Bounce? I need it to bounce. You want me to bounce an egg? I want you to bounce an egg. Now, you're totally setting me up to fail. That's not, that's not fair. I just asked you to bounce an egg, David. Eggs don't bounce. Are you serious? You want me to do that? Yeah. Okay, ready guys? Ooh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that didn't bounce very well. well but you know what? I tried. I have my own egg, and I think it's gonna bounce pretty well. That's not an egg. It is an egg. See? What? Look that, at my that's egg. not a real egg. Look, look at this at egg it. bouncing all over the place. It is a real egg. It's the shape of an egg, but it doesn't look like an egg. Oh, it is. So here's how you can achieve this. You're gonna need for this experiment a plastic or clear container. Okay. You're gonna need a regular egg and you're gonna need some vinegar. So what you're gonna do is place that egg inside the container. Make sure you also have a lid for this container. Okay. And pour in enough vinegar that it just covers the top of the egg. You want the entire egg covered in vinegar. You're gonna have to put the lid on the egg. Okay. And then put it in a refrigerator for at least 24 hours. So put this entire container inside the refrigerator and let it sit for 24 hours. When you take the egg back out, it will look like this. The shell will be gone. No way. So what's happening is that the vinegar contains a chemical called acetic acid. Okay. And when that combines with the eggshell, which is made of calcium carbonate, it breaks it apart. So after 24 hours, the calcium part will be floating around inside the vinegar, and the carbonate will have turned into carbon dioxide and formed a lot of little bubbles, which you can see have already started forming. Yeah, yeah. So it will come out looking just like this. But if you look at these two together, it's bigger than a regular egg. Yeah, it is. But I didn't use a bigger egg. I used one of these eggs. But what has happened is that through a process called osmosis, the vinegar has been absorbed through the membrane that's still left on the egg and is inside. So if you take a look inside, oh, you can actually cool. see it looks so jelly inside so of there. So the yolk, is it's not like a hard boiled egg. It's, it's not, still runny in yeah, there. Yeah, you may be able to see no there way. should be a little yolk still moving around in there, but just inside this very, very thin layer of the membrane absorbed all of the vinegar, not all of the vinegar, but a lot of vinegar. And that's why it looks like this. That's why it's so jelly. And that's why it can bounce. That is so, I've never seen an egg do. You've never seen I'm, a bouncing no, egg. Never seen a bouncing egg at all. Thank you for making science so cool. Well, thank you, David. And making our super science special extra special today. I think that you did a pretty good job. You know what? Thank you. I think you should get the last honors. What's that? You can make me eat it? No, you can break it. If you bounce it too hard, it will break. It will break. This is your chance, David. Oh, and you I love break it. the egg. Oh yeah, you make it, I'll break it. You ready? One, yeah. two, bounce. Oh geez. <laughs> oh geez. That was awesome. I know, look, and look, this is that very thin little membrane that was holding it all together. It this doesn't bounce, thing. it explodes. It does Are you explode. Kidding me? Well, thanks for taking care of that for me. I'm you glad, did the honors I'm well. I'm just David. glad you didn't make me eat it. Oh it no. It stinks. Never. Oh, it does. Man, thank you for making this extra special. We got to clean up on aisle nine. Check this out. Go to wonderamatv.com. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, we'll David. We'll see you next time.